Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Thursday's edition of The Breakfast Club. I'm Got That Funk. Thanks for joining me. We've been talking this week about whether or not uh, some subjects are too serious to be uh, joked about. And Steve Shives made a video the other day which I wanted to respond to a few points in. And Steve's not the only person to make these points. I mean, Lacey Green made similar points in her video uh, to Nicole Arbor last week. Um, about, you know, it's okay for comedy to sort of punch up, but not okay for comedy to punch down. Well, I respectfully completely disagree with that uh, contention. Uh, from my point of view, everyone's feelings are as valid as everyone else's feelings. And why is it okay to offend group A, but not okay to offend group B? Um, no, I'm, I'm completely against that kind of thinking. Either it's okay to potentially offend everyone, or it's not okay to potentially offend anyone. And I know which world I'd rather live in. Sure, humor can hurt, even alienate. But the risk is better than the alternative. A steady diet of innocuous, childproof, flavorless mush. Demand to be challenged, to be offended, to be treated like thinking, reasoning adults. And raise your children to be the same. Don't let a comedian, a network, a congressional committee, or an evil genius take away your freedom to laugh at whatever you want. Comedy, by its very nature, gives us an opportunity to explore our own preconceived notions about certain subjects. And when comedy explores a difficult topic, um, it can shake us up inside. You know, you, if you laugh at something, but you think, my, I really ought to be offended by this. Why am I laughing? That's a good process for you to go through. And hopefully you won't just uh, leave it there at the, at the theater or on your sofa when you're watching a TV show or whatever. You hopefully will consider why you laughed. It'll help you explore your own uh, thoughts and feelings on a matter uh, where you thought you might have already made up your mind. It can help you to realize that there's still more to do there. So the value of comedy, from my point of view, outweighs its potential detrimental effects. Um, last but not least, I want to say, uh, Steve mentioned in his video how, you know, we shouldn't laugh at other people's misfortune. And, you know, I call bullshit, frankly, Steve. Um, you know, you were the one who made the video about uh, schadenfreude and how it's okay to laugh at other people's misfortune. If that other person is a dick, you find it yourself entitled to laugh at that. You know, I, my attitude is people can laugh at anything they find funny and you don't necessarily have to justify why you find something funny any more than you should have to justify why you find something offensive. You have a right to both feelings and that's okay. You know, um, but, you know, we learn from our earliest years to laugh at people's misfortune. You learn it when you're a baby. At the same time, you're learning to walk and talk this gets drilled into you from the earliest possible age. I'll give you an example. I would write, I raise up my son and my daughter myself. And when the kids were babies, you know, if, if a child falls over, if a, if a toddler falls over and they don't like seriously hurt themselves, the smartest thing you can do is to laugh at the toddler because by doing so, you might encourage them to laugh or at the very least not cry. And that's really important because when a toddler falls over, they'll look up at you to see how you react. And if you make a fuss, they might start to cry. But if you laugh at them, they probably won't cry. Let me just say that twice because it pertains to this entire discussion. You laugh at them because you don't want them to think to take it too seriously and end up crying because they didn't actually get hurt. Because they didn't actually physically get hurt, you want them to take it lightly and you enable that through laughter. I think that's really, really important to remember. You know, this sort of release of uh, tension from a situation, that's what laughter can be. And that's what comedy can do for people. It can take some of the pressure out of some of the more serious topics by joking about them. And yeah, okay, some people are sometimes going to be offended by comedy. Okay, that's fine. They have a right to their offense. Steve Shive said in his video on Tuesday that people have the right to be outraged by comedy. And with that, Steve, I politely disagree. Um, if someone actually reaches a point of rage as a response to something someone said, and all they did was say it, and there's no action attached to that, uh, and you get rage, I mean, rage is an uncontrollable anger. And if someone reaches the point of rage because of something someone said, I would politely suggest that person needs anger management. 
Right, so Reddy Yuki should be here with tomorrow's video for The Breakfast Club on the same subject. I'm interested to see what he's got to say, and I'm interested to hear what you've got to say in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next Thursday.